guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you a new video on how you can run sudo commands without having to type your password every time. This is great if you're using uh, command line scripts or anything like that with, uh, within home automation. Uh, so for me, I use Home Assistant, so I use command line scripts a lot to do uh, various things and uh, run various uh, commands on my home automation server. Or if you have to type the password in uh, almost every time you run a sudo command, uh, then the home automation server won't be able to run the scripts. This is a fairly easy way to set this up without having to do too much work. So let's get started. So just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, um, whenever I run a command that requires me to use sudo, um, it's going to prompt me to type a password, as, I, as you see here. So here I am running um, just a restart of a MQTT service. So I have Mosquito running on my box here and I'm going to restart this service. And when I try to run this, it's going to prompt me for a password. Which is not a big deal, but if I'm trying to automate this uh, script so that I can do it uh, from within Home Assistant or, or any kind of home automation server for that matter, it won't run. So let's see what we can do to fix that. So the command you're going to want to use for this is vi sudo. Uh, so of course we do that by doing sudo vi sudo. And what this is going to do is it's going to edit our etsy sudoers file. So we're going to scroll down here to, uh, let's see, right underneath uh, allow members of groups. And I'm going to add in a new line for my specific user, the one that I use to run Home Assistant with. That way, anytime I run a command from within Home Assistant, it's not going to prompt me for a password. And I'll put this in the description so that you can copy and paste it to whatever your username is. All right, so that's the command we're going to use. We're going to do a control X to exit out. You may have to type it twice. Now it's going to ask you if you want to save changes and you say yes. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite uh, Etsy sudoers .temp. And you want to remove the .tmp at the end so that it will actually edit the sudoers file in Etsy. Say yes to overwrite and then you should be done. Now that's really it for this tutorial. It's really quick. All I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go ahead and, and start a new session uh, logging into my server so I can show you that it won't prompt me for a password anymore when I try to do a sudo command. All right, so I'm going to SSH into my Home Assistant box where I uh, just edited that sudoers file. And I'm just going to run a couple of commands using sudo, and it shouldn't prompt me for a password now. So let's check on the status of Home Assistant. And you can see it didn't prompt me for a password even though I used sudo. We'll do it one more time with, uh, let's see, mosquito service. And again, that was it. It didn't uh, prompt me for a password then either. So, As you can see, this is great for home automation and running scripts that require you to use sudo as you'll be able to run those with that specific username without being prompted for a password. All right, well, that's the end of this video. It was a quick and easy video, wasn't hard to set up or anything, and now you're able to have a username that will not be prompted for a password. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly hit me up in the comments below, and if there are any videos out there you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know and I'll see if I can get something to put together for you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.